Well, we're focusing on children who are acutely ill. Um, and so in that set of children, uh, a rapid diagnosis is critical. Until we have a diagnosis, we're treating the children's symptoms rather than the underpinning cause of disease. And the moment we have a molecular diagnosis, a genetic diagnosis, we can then give targeted or precise treatments for that particular condition. And so it's so important to make that diagnosis as quickly as possible. It typically takes quite a long time to diagnose a genetic disease in a child. It depends very much on the disease and the child and the setting, but um, anywhere from, let's say, a month to a decade. That's what's been possible before genome analysis became possible at all. We've been able to shrink that down to 26 hours which is amazing. So that's basically one day uh, from saying this person needs the test to being able to report back to the ordering physician, we think we have it. So there are definitely dozens, hundreds of conditions maybe, where even a day saved is a matter of life or death or certainly uh, a disease complication happening or not happening. Um, these are tough to predict, you know, um, and so just the, the thing that we uh, are looking for is a technology that can scale. We really need something that we can use day in, day out on hundreds of children at once because we don't know ahead of time which of those particular babies need that fastest time to result. And so we're in a, a difficult situation where we have to really do them all as fast as possible. The Dragon technology is a huge improvement in the speed, the time to result. And so we've got to look across healthcare and say, where do we really need a very fast genome test result? And clearly that's the case in intensive care units with childhood genetic illnesses. The second place is a little bit further off, but it's a focus of cancer. And either at time of diagnosis or at time of cancer relapse, when they've had a biopsy, uh, and that biopsy has its genome sequenced and the mutations in that cancer may influence the choice of therapy. So that's a second case where there's a race against the clock and where picking the wrong therapy out of the box could have profound ramifications on a person's prognosis.